Hi, everyone. Welcome to this open house session, which is part of our Summer Club seminar. Uh, well, I'm Sheila, and I'm a client onboarding specialist here in the UK. And with me, I have Petra and Grant today, who, is gonna, who are going to guide you through the rest of the session. So, well, Petra and Grant are part of the uh, account executive team. And with them, you are going to learn how House can support you with your digital presence, uh, converting more prospects into clients, and also how to manage your projects more efficiently. Um, so yes, uh, yes. During the during the presentation, if you have any questions, please feel free to yes drop any questions on the chat. As I said before, you have you can find it on the right hand side of your screen. Um, yes, I guess that having said that, I'm giving uh, the floor to my colleagues. Thank you, Shayla. So, yeah, as Shayla said, uh, Petra and I are part of the account executive team. So it's our job to meet with people like you, professionals in the industry, to present um, the house options to them. Um, now, this is going to be a pretty high level overview. If you do want uh, something that's uh, uh, nice to meet you too, Tracy. If you do want something that's uh, a little bit more specific to your business, your industry, your area, there will be a prompt at the end of the webinar where you can book in for something a little bit more personalized. But it, this is going to give you generally a pretty, a, a pretty good idea of the power of house. Now, it will be split up into two different parts. So myself, I'll focus on the marketing side of things, which is what house are traditionally known for. Um, and then Petra will focus on house pro, which we launched four years ago, which is the software part, which helps you more with the the management and, and admin side of, of the business. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to share my screen and uh, you should be able to see a, a slide deck. Uh, if anyone can't see that, uh, please just shout out in the chat, but you should be able to see a prompt that says design for you. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of background on house in the UK and then we'll go into homeowner journey and really how the marketing works. So how's have been really well established in the UK for a long time now. So uh, nearly 12 years uh, to be exact. Um, started over in America about 14, 15 years ago. So that's where we've got a lot of presence. You can see here there's 65 million homeowners signed up to house over that time. But if we take it back to the UK and be more specific to where we are, 1.5 million users. So there's a lot of brand awareness of house in the UK, um, and that could be potentially powerful for your business as well if you really piggyback off the strength of our brand and get your brand known in your area as well. Um, now, a real competitive uh, element of house is that it's extremely relevant to this industry. Um, the reason that people sign up to house is because they're interested in home reno renovation. So at a bare minimum, their intent on, on hiring uh, professionals like yourself is, is, is a little bit higher than that of, of the average Joe. Um, our affiliation is in, in home renovation is mid to high end, and that's the kind of brand messaging that we like to give off. And you'll see that with the businesses that you see on house. You'll see that with the photos of the projects that you see on house. And this affiliation helps attract a much older audience than maybe other forms of uh, digital marketing and social media. Um, and that does help attract a, a much more relevant audience, i.e. an audience that has actual budget to be able to do nice, high quality jobs. So our job is to really connect you with this core audience that we have. Um, I also just wanted to touch on this slide just quickly here before we go get into it. Um, homeowners do plan for a long, long time. So we say on average up to six to 12 months. It's just like when they're buying a property, they go on all the directory sites. And when they're planning a big project, it's the exact same. So whether they're currently aware of house uh, or, or not, there's ways that we can make them aware of house in their area. Because one of the first things that people do nowadays when they're thinking about hiring uh, any sort of professional. So I'm just going to type in uh, something that's relevant to me in my area, right? So I'm based in Aberdeen in Scotland. So if I go into Google, scroll past the organic searches, you can see there that houses are coming generally very high up the top of the organic searches. 
Um, I was doing a, a call with a, a lady in Cork. So we do have representation in Ireland as well. And even for smaller areas, Kinsale is a town. They're generally going to come up fairly high. Um, you know, I could be here all day and type in different searches, different areas, counties, whatever it is. Uh, and you'll see consistently how they're going to come right up the top of the organic reaches on Google. So we don't just settle on our laurels in the sense that, you know, uh, we've got a, a high amount of users at the moment. We continually do new things to attract new users to our platform and in turn your business as well. So this is one of the benefits of the um, house marketing campaign is that we will bump your business profile up to the top of this directory. So this is a premium directory listing. So this just, get, just gets you more exposure for your business your, your, and, and your profile on house. So when I click into the profile, um, you can see there's two core parts to the house profile. One is the visuals, you know, your pictures and your images of your work really sell your business. Uh, the other part of it is the reviews and the testimonials, because when a homeowner is thinking about hiring someone like you, they will look into your reviews in, in a good amount of detail. Um, so, it, you know, these are the two core parts of, of, of house. Um, we can help you with the images. If you don't have professional images, we offer an agency and we subsidize the cost of the professional imagery. Uh, so even if you quite, aren't quite there yet with your imagery and your portfolio, we can help help you with that on your on your journey with house. So that's a premium directory listing, bumping you up to the top of your category and area. Another relevant way that we get exposure for your content and make your content really impactful is through the photo stream. So you'll see here when I go on and I click on kitchen, I'm looking for some inspiration for my kitchen. Um, it will start to show me pictures of professionals in my area. So it recognizes the IP address of where the user is. So this is just another clever way of linking people in your area to come across your brand, um, your, your work, your content, and to hopefully send you an inquiry as a result, which they can do through House, or they can use your own direct means by calling your phone number or going directly onto your website as well. So that part of House, the photo stream, the directory is just getting you relevant traffic and exposure. So very important when you're wanting to market online is to be top of mind for people that are thinking about doing projects in your area. Um, the last part of the marketing that I wanted to touch on was uh, the project matching filtering service. So this is where customers will actually come to us maybe than rather going to the directory and then taking the pain away of them needing to find someone and to actually match them up with a relevant business. So if I uh, go into the project matching filtering service and type the service that I, that I need. So I'll say, just as, as an example, I'm looking for a kitchen designer in my area. Uh, it will pick up the postcode of where the customer is based and then ask them questions based on the project that they have in mind. So they're looking for kitchen redesign with these aspects of the job that they need help with uh, the type of home. Basically what it does is it gets the basic information that you need in order to have a, you know, a good inquiry and a good conversation with that customer off the first bat. Um, and then our team match these filtered leads up with the relevant businesses that market with us in the area. Um, just before I finish and pass on to Petra, I did want to also touch on uh, something else that House provides to help you with your online presence is website services. Now, the way that House website services work is that you can upload your content, your images, your business description onto here. Uh, and then we have a, a list of the different templates that you can choose from. And then one of our in-house website designers will build a website for you based on your uh, the, the content from your House profile and the template that you select. Um, and this also includes a consultation with the person that designed your website as well. I just wanted to quickly show you an example of a house website that was created by one of our designers in the UK. So um, it's modern. It's up to you know today's expectations. It's clean looking. 
So if you haven't got your website set up or you're thinking about doing a refresh of the website, that's also something that we can help you with as well. Um, so uh, without further ado, I can just have a hand over to my colleague Petra. And whilst we're going through this, yeah, please don't hesitate to ask any questions. If you have any, we can answer them at the end or go through them if, uh, if we can answer them quickly enough. Thank you, Grant. Thanks for this overview of marketing. Um, so now on to the second part, really, of this webinar, which is essentially the software side of house, which is what might might be the part of house that you know a little bit less of. Uh, but like Grant mentioned, it's been around for years now, and you know we continue to put out features, uh, new features out, and you know hearing from our clients' feedback. And of course, the aim is uh, for for house to be the preferred tool in the home industry. Um, so if your goal is to grow, marketing is of course an invaluable part of growing your business, but it's really only half the job that's involved in signing on new clients. So in order to really bring in um, these leads over the line, conversion tools are an essential part of also growing your business. So we will now look into the, um, you know, our 360 software solution, as we call it, a software that, like I said, we're continuously developing and embedding to help uh, professionals like yourself manage um, their projects, their accounting, their design processes, um, really as efficiently um, as possible. So I'll go ahead and share my screen. This is what our software looks like. So this is our homepage overview. It's meant to be a very simple tool to use. It's desktop, mobile, and tab tablet friendly. Um, and I'll jump right into basically where we picked off, which is you know what comes after the marketing. So um, hopefully, that is, you know, all the inquiries and leads that you'll be getting uh, and receiving from Hal's. These will automatically automatically generate onto what we call this client relationship uh, management system, which is, you know, just essentially a lead management tool. Uh, and so we're giving you full access uh, to this tool, and it's designed to help you keep track of every single lead and every single conversation that you're having with a prospective client. So no matter how your sales process is or how big your team is, having a directory um, with all these lead details is crucial. So you'll see the name of the leads, the name of the client, of course, the location, the lead source, um, and of course, you know, the stage of each conversation that you're having with uh, this prospective client. So whether, you know, you've only connected with them, whether a proposal has been sent out. And of course, you'll also be able to assign tasks or lead ownership to people in your team. So this really keeps everyone accountable um, and consistently following up with a lead that comes in. So from the moment it comes in to actually successfully converting it into a job. So you all know better than I do probably that when a lead comes through, it can take months before it actually converts into a proper job. So it's important to always keep a hand on it so as not to lose out on any opportunities. Um, so in my case, in my fake company's case, for example, what you can see here on the left is um, each lead and each of the, its stage. So I can see that there's four meetings that I've scheduled, three proposals that I've sent out, and zero that I want. So if there's a little bit of a dip in my pipeline, I know what to do first. It's to go into these seven opportunities, potentially even the proposals that have been sent out, see you know how long it's been since I've reached out to them and and really follow up with them directly and and hope that at least one of them really converts. So, you know, from there, you can send in a, an estimate, uh, share plans, ideas until you can properly convert that into a project, which you could do immediately on here. Uh, so, of course, this is synced to your email. So if you're really having these conversations with uh, these clients, it automatically syncs here and all their lead details will be here on the right. So. This leads me to really our project management tool. So what comes after logically. So we want to make it even easier for you to manage all of your projects um, at once. So we're giving you ad access to these um, project management tools, uh, specifically this dashboard, um, which you know helps keep all the parties that are involved in the project in line, helps them have full transparency and visibility over what's happening. So whether that be um, you know other team members, uh, your your clients, of course, or your subcontractors, um, and of course it's up to you to sort of manage and authorize you know 
what you want them to see or not see. Um, and everything from your planning tools to your management tools to your accounting tools, we want everything to be centralized, as simple uh, as, as it gets, really. So the first tools, and like I said, I'm not going to go into too much depth over each of those functionalities. It could take, I could spend hours talking to you about every single one. Uh, so we'll just dive into the most popular ones as well for the project management side. Um, and I'm going to start off with our uh, Clipper tool, which is essentially the part where you're sourcing products, um, creating proposals and sharing ideas with your clients. So our Clipper tool is really when you're at the process of sourcing a product from, you know, an online supplier. So more often than not, you open up a, um, a supplier's website and you find yourself really liking an item. Um, so at this point, what we want is for you to be able to immediately grab an image uh, using our Clipper tool. So you see when I hover over an image, this little icon pops up, uh, which opens up this tab that I already have opened here on the right. So it allows me to very literally clip that photo and populate it into my house library. So you can see that I've already added my costs, but if I wanna add any and all details, I can just select them. So I'm just grabbing the title with uh, my mouse and I'll click on product title and it immediately clips it and copies it into this bar. So that can be for anything really. Dimensions, for example, uh, I'll click on dimensions by grabbing it. So you want to get as precise as possible, of course, but you, of course, um, want uh, realistically to have uh, details that you'll need in the future. So whether it's for your client or for purchase orders, et cetera. And I also want my products to be organized in the library. So I'll make sure to associate that to a specific project as well as specific groups. So I'm working on Elton John's living room right now. So once I'm done, I save to House Pro and I can keep going with my sourcing as it works on any website, really, so long as the technology um, detects an image, a photo of a, of a product, this little icon will pop up and this tab on the right will appear. So it could be, you know, anything from actual um, furniture to even paint colors, wallpapers, tiles, electrical um, uh, things, anything really. So from there, I'm going to go into my selections board. I've already created uh, four, five different boards. I'm currently working on the living room. So I'll open that one up right away. And you'll see all the products that I've already shared to my clients. And I'm going to go ahead and add my latest product, which is that sofa that I've just clipped, which sits at the top of my library. I'll just add it right away. Um, and see, this is one of the best ways of really bouncing off ideas with your clients, have them, you know, either um, go see the product themselves if you want them to or interact directly on this board by adding comments between you and, and your team and the client. You can also see any um, product that's already linked to a document that you've sent out to your clients. And yeah, it's, it's, you see this as an interactive mood board, but it goes into real detail if you wanted to. So you can add plans, um, any sort of images and files. Um, I can set myself um, a budget right off the bat. So from there, you know, let's assume my client's you know, approved and declined or declined the items that they want to see. Um, so I'll go ahead and convert that into a document. I can convert that into a proposal, for example, or an invoice. Um, I'll just select for now, I'll just select this one item and convert it. And you'll see that it literally is just a matter of seconds for it to turn it into a proposal. So I've only got this one item in here, but if I want to populate with more uh, items, I just can grab them from the library directly if I want to. Um, this is a template that I've created for myself, but you'll be able to create your own as well by, you know, changing these columns, um, you know, with any sort of data that you want to see on those proposals. Um, I've got my total immediately. Um, and really, again, up to you to populate with your own terms and conditions and memos and files, etc. But really, one of the most important features that we want to see here is having you know, um, an online payment system. So uh, if I want to get paid directly through the platform, well, I can, but also I'm, I'm showing my client the structure and I'm making it very um, transparent to them as to when I'm expecting um, them to pay or deposit or um, the rest, of course, of uh, the payments. I can add an online signature and click on send whenever I'm ready to send that to my client. So it just shows up as an email for them. They open it up and they can sign electronically and um, 
from there, you can invoice your items either separately or as a whole. Um, so I could see a question. I yes, think sorry, someone is. No, yes, I was going to say that. Uh, yes, now can you show the client dashboard so that yes. the, the, the pros can see where they can find that uh, proposal that you have just sent? Absolutely. So right. it, when, when you're at the process of creating that, um, that project, really, you want your client to have their own dashboard. So whenever you're opening up documents, um, you're sending them through, uh, whether it be schedules, um, you know, change orders, purchase orders, etc., they will all fall into this dashboard, um, which is as simple as a link to the client, really. But if they're looking at, you know, the messages that you've sent out to them in the past, or they're looking for an invoice that, you, that you've sent to them, they will all find it under this uh, portal right here. OK, so all you have to do is really share that, you know, initial email and then the link never changes. It's always going to be the same link for them. Um, but it's definitely one of the best ways of just having everything under one roof for them so that they don't bother you in different sort of uh, email threads and WhatsApp groups and, and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, this was for you know, the on only other design tools that I'm going to show you now is really the 3D floor plans, because it's also one that's immensely popular at the moment. Um, 3D floor plans are just the best ways of giving visual representation to your client, really reel them into your idea. Um, you can create them from scratch by drawing it yourself uh, or by scanning a room with your phone or uploading a 2D floor plan and tracing it yourself. So I'll just give you an example of one that I've got right here. Um, you know, this is really not supposed to be necessarily a realistic render. It's supposed to be a quick tool where you're able to really showcase an idea to your client, maybe even at a stage where you're still in the process of converting it, it's a great way of, you know, uh, putting yourself apart from your competitors. Uh, you know, you come in onto a site, um, grab the quotes, grab the dimensions, and immediately start working on the idea. And, you know, it's as easy as sharing that link again to them. Um, and the conversion to 3D only is a matter of a click of a button. So you're not having to do double the work either. Um, and so this gives them an overview of what they can expect. Sometimes it's also, um, you know, a way of just starting to see where space planning, li space planning lies, sorry. So yeah, it's, it's, um, just a great way of adding. So you've got here source products that are pre-imported library from HAL. So adding a couple of ideas in, whether it be just for the sake of colors or, um, uh, like I said, space planning. Um, and then from there, uh, a, a, um, a tool that we've actually just added as of a month ago. Uh, from 3D floor planners, you can actually start uh, grabbing photorealistic renders. So I already, I should already have some on file right here. Um, so I'll quickly show you one. There you go. You've got a nice image that's generated automatically. So I've positioned it myself with that view, but you know you can basically move it around as you wish to, and you can definitely interact with your clients on this uh, photo. But your client will also find it in their own uh, client dashboard. Um, so this was for design tools. Now, obviously, management tools um, they can be uh, anything from scheduling to tasks. So we want you to really give that transparency to your clients right away. So having a Gantt view of you know what the timeline of the project is going to look like. So um, you can create phases, items, and uh, under each item, you'll have a set of different tasks. So you can start assigning tasks to, you know, your client, your team members, subcontractors, etc. cetera. Um, and you prefer, if you prefer a list view, you can also convert it into that, which gives you a full uh, overview of who is assigned to what and, you know, what the dates are. And of course, what the status, the status of each task are. And of course, it can go in as much detail as possible. This is, of course, just an example. Um, but it syncs with everyone's calendars. Um, and again, a great way of keeping everyone accountable of what they should be doing um, and have everything centralized. And um, last but not least, I'll quickly dive into the financials. Um, I mean, it goes from anything from invoices, purchase orders, retain retainers, um, estimates, and of course, financial overviews, you can pull out reports. Um, and the benefit here is that we do uh, sync with and integrate with uh, popular accounting tools. So if you're already using one, it might be uh, syncable with um, with House. So you're not having to double entry anything. Uh, you can have a one-way sync from House to that accounting tool immediately.
Um, so yeah, it's it's a lot. There's a lot of functionalities in there, some that you might already have, some, some that you've never thought of having. Um, but really, the importance of an all-in-one software is that we know that, you know, statistically pros that are faster in sending out uh, quotes and uh, the ones that give visual representations to their prospective clients have generally higher conversion rates. So not only is this tool um, going to help you stay organized and in line and, of course, sane, and help you save time, but really we also want it to help you bring in more clients, more prospective clients over the line. So if you sorry, want... Sorry, yes. Petra, to interrupt. I got here um, in, um, yes, a, a question in a our question. Q&A and the, because we were mentioning, uh, yes, the possibility to synchronize uh, something yeah. to our, uh, some other tools to House Pro. Uh, so they want to know which tools can be synchronized with House Pro. So yes, oh, if you can mention them. That absolutely, would be yes. So the accounting tools that sync with House Pro at the moment are QuickBooks and Zero, which I think are, are the most popular ones at the moment. Uh, okay. Thank you for thank that you. question. <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, if you want a more tailored uh, demo to your business, whether it be on the marketing side, the grant presented on the software side, you can book in a meeting with one of us. So um, you may already see a pop-up um, or you can also go directly to where it says handouts on the right of your screen. So the pop-up right now might be on the bottom left, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so you can book in a meeting directly. And typically what we do is that we would discuss your business a little bit more detail and then uh, dive right into, um, you know, what we think are the most suited um, tools of Howl's for you. And um, the whole point is putting you on the right package. And then once you are, uh, Sheila will explain quickly what happens when the pro is actually on the program. Yes, for sure. Thank you, Petra. So yes, actually, if you decide to join us, you will have an onboarding period where our onboarding team will guide you, um, yes, the beginning of your subscription and will uh, yes, provide a more specific, um, more specific information. So what Petra and Grant has, uh, have been covering today. So yes, you will uh, learn a bit more about our software and also about our marketing. So yes. Um, you are not going to be alone at any moment. So yes, the onboarding period is going to be essential and crucial for you to jump on your uh, yes, project management and yes, your marketing. Um, yes, having said that, thank you very much for joining us. It was a pleasure to have you here today. We hope uh, you enjoyed uh, the session. Um, I'm checking, we don't have any last minute uh, question, but yes, if you have any questions, yeah, feel, feel free to contact us and we'll be happy to, yes, to guide you with your questions and with anything that you need. So yes, thank you very much. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, everyone.